For years now, I have seen two YouTubers on this platform continuously exploit death, tragedy, and trauma for views. And it's just sickening. I've made now two videos, this is the third one, because so many people kept sending me thumbnails, so it just felt necessary to do it again. But mind you, right, the people I will be talking about today aren't the only ones that do this scummy stuff. It happens everywhere and more than you think, and whenever a new tragedy does pop up, it's just even worse. I don't know what's made humanity believe that clout chasing and money is more important than, I don't know, respecting people's lives, but um, here we fucking are. But today, I just wanna talk about two YouTubers who have done this so many times and have gotten away with it, no consequences whatsoever. And that's mainly because their audience are just impressionable kids that don't know better. So let's begin the great rabbit hole, shall we? When Diego Maradona died on November 25th, 2020, the world mourned the loss of a legend. Well, that is besides the Daily Star who should liquidate for this. However, the very next day, ZanOMG decided to use Maradona's likeness and name as a clickbait for a video called Footballers Who Have Died. And you know it's real great when someone clickbaits death with fucking cry emojis. But what about the video? Does it honor Maradona in any respects? No. No, it doesn't. This video, and many of the other videos I'll be talking about, are quite literally just slideshows of footballers who have died. They have like FIFA cards and shit like that, and they'll display something like when they were born, when they died, and the clubs they play for, and maybe even the cause of death. That is it. 10 to 20 seconds of that, on to the next footballer. And there's no exception for Diego, as he only gets 20 seconds of screen time, and then on to the next footballer, as I said before. But not only is this disrespectful to Diego Maradona, who died literally just a day before, not even 24 hours in, but it's also disrespectful to the footballers who were included in this video. Now, knowing that this video was disgusting, ZanoMG decided to save face by using charity. All revenue from this video will go to the charity. The charity, better known as Zan's bank account. And you know that one meme, one like equals one prayer? Well, this motherfucker used it unironically. And as said before, Zan's audience are predominantly impressionable kids, so he knows exactly what he's doing there. There were a couple people who did criticize Zan, and he used the argument that other social media platforms were doing the same thing. Now, let me ask you, do these two have the same intentions? Of f***ing course not. My boy Brandon BCHD also criticized Zan, and I sh you not, this man replied, You don't know me. But let's just give Zan the benefit of the doubt. It was just one video. Footballers who passed away featuring a story, Sala, Reyes, etc. You might have noticed that the channel is called ZanOMG2, because originally there was ZanOMG, and that channel was suspended for some reason, I'm not sure why. So this video was probably just a re-upload from his original channel, and with that being said, this definitely clickbaited another footballer's death around the time that they passed. It's probably Emiliano Sala who was clickbaited both in the title and the thumbnail. Also, let's take a look at this screenshot, shall we? Remember that charity line in the bottom left corner? Whoa! Where is it? I didn't know, there's just the massive subscribe graphic. But let's say this, right? That video was uploaded months prior to the Maradona video. So what about a recent one? Three months ago, in fact. Footballers who passed away. Enka, Maradona, Yashin, etc. Man really included Maradona's name again, but then again, he's literally included three footballers who have died. Already, that's f***ing horrible. But it gets even worse. Look at the thumbnail. Holy f***ing sh Zan, you are a piece of f***ing garbage. I don't know how these people can wake up every day and look at themselves in the mirror knowing that they photoshopped a f***ing plane crash on a FIFA card. But somehow, there's someone worse. Yeah, after all that I just said, there is actually someone significantly worse. Meet Alstor, the vile creature. He does not deserve the title human. This man has no bounds, no morals, no nothing. When you die, it won't be TMZ that reports on it. It'll be f***ing Alstor making a video about it. Alongside using Gerd Muller's death reviews and clickbait around the time that Gerd Muller did pass, he's also used two recent footballers' deaths. One was clickbaiting footballer Reuler, who tragically died in November 2021. Bruh, are you serious? A man just died! And more recently, Ahmet Chalik, who tragically passed away a week ago. And not even three hours after the announcement of this man's passing, Alstor makes a video clickbaiting this man's name in the title and his face in the thumbnail. Like, I have no words for how absolutely 
f***ing vile that is. And if you look at the top right corner of the actual video itself, Charity is mentioned again. Oh boy! Alstor did pin a comment mentioning that he donate, and he actually listed a couple charities, so at least he did a little more work than Zan. But if you look at the list of charities that he listed, they're all very generic answers. Like, for example, if I were to say I was going to donate to a charity but didn't know which one, the first one that would probably pop up in my mind is UNICEF because that's, like, universally known. And unlike Zan, Alstor also claimed that he would post proof that he donated to a charity. He won't. Also, up and coming their vow, you can go f yourself as well. But there's one instant that made me realize that, yeah, it's probably necessary for a third video. Zan made a video recently called Footballers Who Took a Life, Alonzo, Enka, and Clivert. Alonzo and Clivert, whatever, okay? You do not clickbait suicide. Above Enka's card is killer, and that is one of the most disgusting clickbaits I've ever seen. And the video itself, well, it's it's just as bad. At the top it says, caused a, a pass away. Whatever the f*** that's supposed to mean. And you know, I would have given a little credit if he removed the prison time part mentioning that Enka had taken his own life, but he didn't. And having done a video about Robert Enka and his life story and his career and his tragedy, it sickens me even more that these videos are being shown to kids, like hundreds of thousands of kids, and their only impressions of these footballers are how they died and that's pretty much f***ing it. Both these YouTubers have also clickbaited Christian Eriksen ever since his cardiac arrest. We literally saw Eriksen on live television, not with us, for a couple minutes, and these motherfuckers really had the audacity to just clickbait him hours later. Occasionally, you'll see Abdullah Nuri being clickbaited, and that's one of the most tragic incidents to a very promising player that really the footballing world has ever heard. More recently though, Aguero has become clickbait for these pieces of garbage. The fact that these people have a platform in the first place is just asinine. But like I said before, because of their audience and how young they are, they don't know better, so these guys just live free doing this shit. In fact, they thrive off these Footballers Who Die videos. If you've seen the view counts of these videos, they're up in the hundred thousands to even millions. And going back to bumping up in the algorithm, whenever these videos do come out, their audience will leave love in the comments believing that, you know, Zan or Alstor actually give a shit about these footballers. Scum of the earth, man. It, it is genuinely ridiculous that YouTube allows this because it just breeds more of this type of behavior on the platform. I made this video because with the bigger audience now, I can make more people aware of of what's going on, and Zan and Alstor are just disgusting creatures that really should be called out. Like, if they just did their goofy transfer videos without clickbaiting, you know, tragedy, trauma, or even death, I wouldn't have a problem with them. I really wouldn't. I mean, I won't lie, like, some of their thumbnails are quite hilarious, just as long as they aren't, you know, clickbaiting death or tragedy. But going outside of the FIFA card YouTuber bubble. I'm so sick and tired of the fact that whenever there is a tragedy in any sport whatsoever, there are going to be people and pretty big figures in that who will clickbait and do anything they can to exploit the tragedy. I've seen this happen so many times, man, through Chapaquense to Sala to f***ing story to Maradona. It just never ends, and it just seems like people never get called out for this. There's actually a really good video outside of the footballing world that actually revolves around Kobe Bryant's tragic past. It's a really good video about those who took advantage of Kobe's passing and how many used this opportunity for clout and I highly advise you check it out. And here's another thing, there's an appropriate way to honor these people if you want to make a video about them. Talk about their life story and achievements for more than 20 seconds. Honor their life so that their death can have more significance without directly saying they died. And I can't believe I have to actually say this, don't f***ing ask for likes. Like I don't understand how the bar is so fucking low, but here we are, I guess. But you know, I just wanted to talk about that, give you guys my thoughts on all this, and you know, just make you guys aware that this is happening and it needs to stop immediately. I don't feel particularly right to plug my Patreon or my social media in this video, so I'm just gonna end the video here. So I'll see you guys.